and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Today, we're going to add on to the storage rack that I use for my craft acrylic paints. Over the years, I've accumulated quite an assortment of craft acrylic paints, so I needed some way to store them so I could find them easily during projects. As I was trying to develop a storage system, I came across some information on the internet that people use to store their craft acrylic paint bottles. Basically, what they were using was CPVC pipe and built a storage rack for their bottles. As you can see here, we're going to be using inch and a quarter PVC pipe, cutting it down the lengths. I'm going to add it onto the end here to increase the number of rows off to the right so that we can store more paint bottles. These cut pieces are going to be secured using red hot blue glow. So let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to PVC pipe, there's a thick wall version and there's a thin wall version. The reason I like using the inch and a quarter thick wall version is irregardless of whoever manufactures your paint, the characteristics and dimensions of a two ounce bottle are pretty much the same. So whether it's Americana, Craftsmart, Apple Barrel, Anita's, Folk Art, or whoever manufactures your paint, the outside diameter of the bottle and the inside diameter of the pipe are pretty much the same. So when we talked about the dimensions of the bottle, we didn't talk about the height or the length. So if you look here, the height of the bottle is almost four inches. So when we cut our tubes, I want to leave a little bit of room for my fingers so that I can grab the bottles in and out and two for my eyes to see what color they are. So what I've done is I've set up a temporary location for my chop saw and I've also installed the block. Uh, because I don't want to measure each piece that would take forever. So what I've done is I've set up my chop block at about three inches. If you notice, and it could be because of the angle of the camera, but I am set up at about three inches on my stop block there. So that we can cut all the pieces without much interruption and get this done as quick as possible. Okay, so cutting our five foot piece of inch and one quarter PVC pipe into three inch pieces gave us about 19 pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a wet rag and I'm going to wipe them down inside and out. As I mentioned earlier, the bottle's about four inches high. So if you cut the tube at about three inches, the top of the tube is flush with the end. You can see how much sticks out for you to grab with your fingers and two that you can see what the color is. So cutting the tube a little bit shorter than the actual acrylic bottle 
allows you to grab it and see what's going on. Since I want to add rows to the right side here, I need to turn my rack on its side so that I can work on the top. Another reason why I'm doing this is I'll show you the stability and the strength of gluing this PVC pipe together. Even with blue glue, it makes it quite strong. When you're gluing this PVC pipe together, especially in rows like this, on the end, there's two points of contact. In the middle, there's going to be three points of contact. So what I like to do is, when I lay the pipe together, I'm going to use a pencil and make marks where the three points of contact are, because those are the areas that I want the blue glue to be applied to so that it stays together. I don't need to apply blue glue to the open areas that aren't even going to make contact, so I just want to make sure that I use the points of contact where the pipe touches one another. So here you can see I have my three points of contact. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start high and roll it low and then bring it back to how the three, so that way it's smeared together. Hold it together for a couple of seconds. And move on to the next one. Well, that pretty much does it for Workshop Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. And as always, thanks for watching. And as you can see, that worked out pretty well. Those two ounce acrylic paint bottles slide in and out of there pretty easily.